Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chris and today we're gonna be working out in my garden since it is a beautiful spring day. It's still a little wet because it was downpouring last night and crazy rain. But today the sun is out, so we're gonna go ahead and get our onions and a surprise plant into our green stalk. Now I'm making a slight adjustment to my plan with the green stalks. And that adjustment has to do with this one and that one. And it involves my strawberries here. I caught them very interested in these plants and I realized that Ruger, the big white dog, he definitely remembers that these produce strawberries and that he really likes them. So I was gonna do this whole seven tier green stock with all strawberry plants. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disassemble this green stock. I'm gonna take the first three tiers on here and fill them with onions and then stack those three tiers with the strawberries on top here so they're out of my dog's reach. I have never seen them eat onion plants. Doesn't mean that they won't, but I have never seen them do it. So I'm gonna hope that that will make our, the strawberries just a little bit safer. We'll find out if it actually works. Yesterday, I actually recorded a whole video on transplanting the celery plants in this pot and in that pot. I also planted this entire bed with potatoes and I also planted this 8x2 bed with purple top turnips, golden turnips, Detroit red beets, Chayoga beets, and then the rest of this is scarlet radishes. But what I failed to realize when I was recording that is that my husband was the last one to use this camera and he changed the settings. So I think he put it in what must have been like a wide angle setting because the entire video looks like you're looking through a fishbowl. So I scrapped it all. I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of update that those plants were in. We'll definitely be watching them as they grow. And lesson learned, after he uses the camera, always double check the settings. The first step is just gonna be disassembling this green stalk. And then I'm gonna go ahead and renew the soil that is in this. I'm not going to take it all out and completely redo it. We're just gonna add some amendments and probably top it off with a little bit more soil because some of these layers are looking a little thin. As soon as I pull out some of the pepper roots that are in there from last year, it's gonna bring the soil down even more. So we're definitely gonna have to top it off. horse manure from my friend's farm. We're going to be adding this to the soil to help amend it and bring nutrients back into it. Because this soil that was used last year, the nutrients in it are all gone. Either leached out by watering or especially all of the rain over the course of the winter, but also by the plants that were in here last year. This one, I think I've pretty much got all the last year's plants out except this one pepper let's get that out so i have our plants here i'm gonna add some of this horse manure into here the goal is just to kind of get a couple inches on top. There we go. I have 
have a little bit of potting soil left in this mix that was inside. This is the mix that I've been using for all of my plant starts. It's also the same base that I used when I filled my green stock with strawberries. So I'm just going to use this to kind of fill in some of these areas. This is the pack of onions that I already had started to transplant into my big bed with the cauliflower and the cabbages. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one off. I'm going to put one onion in each of these pockets. I'm going to try to put it basically right in the middle so that as the bulb forms, it has room to actually form. There we go. And for my little surprise companion, I'm putting calendula into each pocket with these onions. And I'm doing that, well, for to save space. I will be harvesting this just like I would the vegetables. So I didn't want to put it in my front yard where where I'm less likely to actually harvest it on a regular basis. Plus, there's the added bonus of it attracting pollinators. Now the onions aren't gonna need pollinators, but the other plants in the garden, that flower, like the peppers, squash, and things like that are going to need pollinators. So I really wanted to kind of add these little bits into the garden to attract the pollinators and also really just to add a little bit of color because otherwise there's a whole lot of green and not a whole lot of anything else. Here we have the first tier planted. Before I stack this, I'm going to go ahead and run this soaker hose irrigation line around through these pockets. I set up irrigation in my green stalks last year and it ended up working really, really well. I was quite happy with it. And even though, you know, green stock has that great watering system sometimes just taking the time to come out here and water all the time or water when it needs it just doesn't happen in my world sometimes I just get busy and that and that just doesn't happen so I set up irrigation with pretty much everything else last year And I wanted to do it with this as well. So this isn't going to be absolutely perfect. It will wind through here a lot better. Once I actually have them stacked. But just kind of lay this in here for now. There we go. Oops not to pull the plants back out as I move it. This is 
basically in the position I want it to stay in. So I'm going to leave this tier right here on the spinner base and it will be the next one. It looks like it doesn't have any plants left over from last year either. So it's good to go. It doesn't look like I'm going to have to fill this in with any more potting soil. I think I'm going to add the calendula first. And this is actually all of the calendula starts that I have, so I guess I only have two tiers for now. I do have more of this started inside that's just not ready to come out. And I also have some that I winter sowed that's starting to germinate and pop up, but they're not ready to be transplanted yet. So we'll only get two tiers full of the onions and calendula, and then we'll fill in the rest later. I'm not really paying attention to which calendula I'm putting in each pocket. Some of it's pink, some of it's orange. It doesn't really matter to me how they're set in here. And this one actually has a little echinacea plant in here, so I'm gonna have to be a little mindful of that. I'm gonna take that plant out. I'm gonna set it to the side here for just a second. What we got here for onions. It's like this is perfect. This tier is now done. Take the echinacea plant out, set the watering disc on top. I'm gonna set this little echinacea plant in here and we'll go ahead and repot that so I don't lose it. Go ahead and lay this kind of through here. Cut off about what I think I'm gonna need. Hopefully it's at the very least more and not less. here on top. Now as I put this on, I'm just going to be very careful not to catch any of the leaves. There we go. I'm going to take this and just kind of weave it through. Here are the ends. That will be plenty left over to run off down to the main irrigation line. And then this will have a connection to the layer up above it. So when the water runs, it'll run up into this tube here and it'll be pushed all the way to the top. This is how I ran the irrigation lines for four of the grain stalks that I planted last year. And it seemed to work really well. So that's what we're gonna do again. One reason I really like to leave at least the roots of the plants in either the pots or the garden itself every year is because that allows the roots to start to decay in the soil. That puts some of the nutrients that they took up back into the soil as they decay into it. Here's the first layer of strawberries. Ahead and kind of line for this layer. Here's our second layer of strawberries. Slip that on. Careful not to get any of the strawberries.
here's the top layer of strawberries. Let's try to set this in here nicely. I need to cut one more line for the very top. This Fort Laramie strawberry, I'm not sure it's gonna make it. We'll see if they pull through. There's a little bit of green in there, so it might yet, but it's looking questionable. there we have one pretty much completed green stock with irrigation tubing just want to add some calendula into this level with the onions then we should be all good to go it always feels really good to actually make some progress out here i still had this little base where the strawberries were so I went ahead and put one tier that was over there these are the original size pockets that are 10 inches deep and then the strawberries are in the leaf size which is seven inches deep hopefully that raised it enough that my dogs are not gonna bother the strawberries and then over here I will put this tier and that tier that is from the original green stock over here. I'll stack them here with onions and when I get more strawberries I'll go ahead and fill the other tiers that would have been with these strawberries. There's four more tiers that go with that green stock. I will instead of connecting them with these three I will go I will go ahead and set them on these two that I'm putting over here. And it turns out that when I said I was out of calendula that was ready to be transplanted, and I was wrong. I just found five more plants. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in this layer with these onions since I'm planting that right now. The layer over here that does not have any calendula, the one pocket of this tier, and then that tier that will go on top of it. I'll add calendula to those pockets as soon as I have more ready to go. Unless, I end up finding more somewhere, which, you know, is always a possibility for me. It's possible that I might decide to take another layer of one of the original green stalks that I haven't set up yet and put that on here. And either fill it with another tier of onions or I had the rest earmarked for peppers. So I might do a tier of peppers here and then strawberries on top. We'll see. And that's because I'm thinking with just the two tiers here, it's only about two feet off the ground and that's not gonna keep my dogs out of it. Um, we'll see what I decide. Whatever I decide, I'll bring you along and I'll let you know. For today, we've emptied two of our onion packs. There's one more down there to go. If I don't end up putting another tier of onions in here, what I'll do is I'll just line this bed with more onions like I did over in this area I'll just do that over here once I put once I fill this with additional soil some compost and get it ready to be planted so those onions are definitely not going to go to waste but decisions decisions on where I actually decide to put them I want to thank you so much for joining me today as I get a little bit more of my 2023 spring and I guess summer garden since these are all gonna grow into summer. So that feels amazing to have some of, some more of that done and some more plants out here. I hope you'll join me for the rest of the season to see how everything does. I will certainly be doing updates on a regular basis 
not only as I get everything else planted in here, but also to show you how everything is doing. So until next time, I hope you hit that subscribe button so you'll be able to follow along. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button so YouTube knows to show it to more people. I hope to see you next time.